So thank you for participating in the ArchiOffice 2012 beta program. I've just made a quick video here to help you understand how to install ArchiOffice 2012. So right now, if you properly downloaded the ArchiOffice 2012 setup, it should be on your desktop. And this is what I would like you to uh, double-click to launch. And of course, when this window opens up asking if we're going to allow the program to make changes to our computer, we're going to say yes. And that will start the process of installing ArchiOffice 2012 on your server. We'll proceed through the next windows until we get to our license agreement. And of course, we will scroll through and carefully read all the fine points in the licensing agreement before we say, I accept the terms and continue on to the next step. Now it's critical that you read this important notice because it's necessary that you have Microsoft SQL Server installed on the computer that will be acting as the ArchiOffice 2012 server. If you don't already have it installed, we provided a link here for you to download SQL Express to install that on this computer. Please stop what you're doing now, download that link, run the installer, and then let's come back and uh, go through this process again, but the SQL Server does need to be installed before we continue on installing the ArchiOffice 2012 server. So, assuming you have installed SQL Server uh, or C our SQL Server Express link here, or you have it already installed on your computer, we're going to proceed to the next step. If you wish, you can put in your username and organization, but it's not necessary to do that. I would just click Next. Most likely you'll want to allow ArchiOffice uh, installer to install the software in our default location. So just go ahead and have it install it. And now you can really just sit back and relax and wait and watch as ArchiOffice 2012 gets installed. Now this process will take a minute or two and you'll notice at a certain point that uh, some new icons will appear on your desktop and we'll get to those in a minute. Now, when ArchiOffice has finished doing the installation, you will see um, a message saying it has been completed and to go ahead and finish. And this will exit out of the installation and open up your browser. You'll probably receive this authentication request. Uh, go ahead and put in the username and password of the administrator of this computer. After you've correctly entered in the administrative uh, user's name and password, the browser will take you to a page where it's really asking you what you would like to do next. Open an existing company file, create a new company file, uh, or open up our sample database. What we're really going to want to do is have you test uh, the converter, which will take your ArchiOffice 2010 or ArchiOffice 2011 database, uh, leave it all intact, but take the data and convert it over to 2012 so you can test the 2012 a beta version of ArchiOffice, but the rest of your office will continue to use ArchiOffice 2011 or 2010, if that's what you're still using, uh, without any interruption. So what we're going to want to do is stop this process by just closing our browser window. And you'll notice on your desktop is the ArchiOffice 2012 converter application. Let's go ahead and launch that. And I'm going to right-click that and launch that as uh, an administrator as well, because I'm not really sure if I'm logged into my server here uh, with the correct administrative privileges. And once again, you'll get a message asking if you want this application to go ahead and make changes, and you will say yes. So when this window opens, the first thing you need is to enter in the server name for your ArchiOffice 2010 or 2011 server. So Undoubtedly, you're either on the same computer that's acting as the server for your ArchiOffice 2010 or 2011, or it's on your local area network. Go ahead and put in the IP address for that computer. Since I'm using ArchiOffice 2011, I'm just going to leave that alone. You do not need to make any modifications to the ArchiOffice port. Now, for ArchiOffice 2012, it's asking you to put in the name of the SQL Server. Well, I'm just going to use that little green update button on the right to have it find on this computer and deliver the, uh, a list of all of the running SQL servers. And when that's done, um, I will just go to the pull down menu and select from the list the one SQL server I actually have running on this computer. 
For authentication, we recommend you leave it at the SQL Server authentication mode. Uh, then you would put in the, the login name for your server, uh, but mine is SA, and then the password for um, administering our SQL Server. Now, the last thing we'll need to put in is what will be the name of our ArchiOffice 2012 database. You can really call this anything you want. Since uh, I'm in the process of doing uh, a test, uh, our first beta test, I'm just going to call this Beta 1. And please make sure you uh, can recall what is the name of this database because later we're going to need to enter that in. When we go back to ArchiOffice in our browser, it's, we're going to be asked what is the name of the 2012 database. And I will type in Beta 1. Then I will click the Start button, and depending on the size of your ArchiOffice 2010 or 2011 database, this could take a matter of minutes, or this could take a matter of hours. So if you have a very large database, my recommendation is go through this process uh, towards the end of your day, go home, and tomorrow morning when you come back at work, this will all have been completed. If your database is fairly small, uh, this might take you, as I mentioned, just minutes or hours and so you might want to just go ahead and do it and then check back at this uh, a little bit later. So we'll just wait while the converter finishes its steps and after it's done we will launch ArchiOffice 2012 through our browser and point to the new data file. You should also notice on your desktop should be a link to the ArchiOffice 2012 startup guide I do recommend you open that PDF file and read through that before you commence to the next step. Now you can either click the link on your desktop, which is the launch icon for ArchiOffice 2012, or you can open up your browser and type in the URL localhost slash AO2012. And you'll immediately be welcomed by a dialog box uh, asking you to authenticate yourself as the uh, user or the administrator of ArchiOffice, so please put in your username and password uh, for your computer administrator. And this will launch ArchiOffice 2012, and you'll see once again that what would you like to do window asking you if you would want to open an existing company file, create a new company file, or open up uh, the sample company database. And since we've already run the converter to get the data from ArchiOffice 2010 or 2011 into ArchiOffice 2012, we're going to want to take a look at it. So we're going to select Open an Existing Company File. Now a new window opens up asking you to name the data file. And of course we named ours Beta 1, so I will type in Beta 1. Next I need to put in the name of our server, which in my case is uh, dot slash SQL Express. After we enter the server name, we're going to set the authentication mode to SQL Server. We'll put in the user ID for the administrator of the SQL Server, and then the password. And the next thing I might want to do is actually put in the proper path to the ArchiOffice Documents folder. And this is really our default folders that you're familiar with from the Preferences area. And since we know that uh, your file server may not be on the same computer, really the easiest way to do this is to just close down this window and go through your OS to point to the actual folder that ArchiOffice needs to access. And once I find that folder, I'm just going to use copy and paste to get the proper path name into ArchiOffice. And once I paste the path into the Documents Path area in ArchiOffice, click the Save button. And finally, I'm greeted with the ArchiOffice login screen, where I'm presented with the username and password. Now, what you may notice is your entire list of users is not on display right now. What we've done is we've gone ahead and listed just the first administrator in the office to be able to log in. And they would log in with their username and password. And then they can go into the preferences and select which employees they want to have access to in ArchiOffice 2012. So you might want to keep it restricted from the rest of your office. Uh, maybe you're going to just be testing around with this yourself um, and you'll still need to go to preferences if this is not you, uh, if that's not your name listed as the default administrator, and make sure that your name is listed as a login user. So once you're logged in, you're going to be presented with the dashboard. You'll notice the user interface is quite different than it was in previous versions. We've really pared it down 
and especially pared it down for our beta period. We want to surprise everybody with the final uh, user interface when we go live. So uh, this is basically very functional and um, should help you navigate around to the areas you're familiar with. And so what I'm going to do right now is just go back into the preferences and make all of my employees uh, have the ability to log in. And uh, one of the issues right now, which we're working on, is making it easier for you to, to uh, save this information. Right now we have a small temporary save button on each row. Go ahead and activate the license for each of your users and click that little save button and do it one at a time. And again, we are working on improving that for the uh, full version when we go live. So just kind of click around, scroll around, see uh, what things uh, are available to you. Um, as I mentioned in an email earlier, the first time ArcheOffice loads for you in your browser, it's going to be caching a lot of, uh, a lot of items. So uh, don't be off-put by the length of time it takes for the first time to launch. But once these are cached, it's going to be very quick for you to move from screen to screen. Of course, you can now log out if you want, and you'll see a list of all of your employees or the ones you've assigned to have the ability to log in. And you can go ahead and log in as that employee. So good luck with your uh, testing of the first beta for ArchiOffice 2012. Uh, one of the things we really need you to do is look at reports, compare them to the reports you run in 2011 or 2010, make sure all the data looks like it's migrated properly, um, make sure all your contacts and your invoicing, all of your time records, everything's just as you've always expected it. So do run all of the, the kinds of reports um, that you normally run in your operation um, and make sure everything looks like it migrated over. And that's one of the highest priority items that we have for you.